That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Slapping the bass. How do you put chains on me? No, I've not gone mad. This is Stu from 3B and uh, I've just been listening to a song I've not heard for oh, so long using um, this called Sonarworks TrueFi which is an application which you download um, and it becomes a, a digital sound processor for your headphones. Um, mine are going through, these are focal ears and they're going through um, a chord mojo but the great thing about Sonarworks TrueFi is that it has a lot of profiles so <coughs> apologies for the singing <laughs> but I, th I thought it would either put you off or get your attention um, the, the whole idea really is, is um, that uh, different headphones have different signatures in terms of sound and when you record uh, and mix a song you have to start from a bass a, a professional uh, sound engineer and producer will always start uh, mixing from a calibrated bass uh, because if it's not calibrated properly if the sound isn't calibrated the speakers aren't calibrated properly what they're mixing with is going to distort the overall sound what you're going to get and send out a master and then it's going to be produced and that's quite a common thing it doesn't happen so much now but it still happens uh, where you get sort of a really muddy mix or it just sort of doesn't translate very well to other devices and so on so it's very common um, certainly even more common now for sort of home studios to calibrate their their monitor speakers not monitor as in screen but monitor as in hearing um, to to get a better idea of what they're mixing and then moving on from there to produce something that's more sort of calibrated and is widely more uh, uh, listenable on, on other devices so when you're mixing with that it gives you a good base to start so headphones much like speakers also have um, a sort of a sound profile that uh, sort of is, is unique to those headphones whether you like it or not um, it is very much a, a sort of personal preference thing but to get the idea as to making sure you're hearing what the producer and the engineer and the musicians and the artists and what have you wanted you to hear you kind of have to start from that same level base uh, and a lot of headphones, the majority of headphones don't do that same with speakers so you have to kind of calibrate them. Previously that was kind of hard. Um, you would have to use Sonarworks sort of professional level um, uh, DSP software within your own sort of DAW, your digital audio workstation and use it that way and previously it only used to be available this way. But they've now released this app which allows you to do the very same thing um, using their own proprietary software and techniques to create that same uh, result that you get in the studio and um, I've got a, a music degree I studied at Berklee College of Music in studio production and uh, uh, audio and ear training at Berklee College of Music as well I've got a bunch of certificates and master certificates and a, a honours degree and what have you but anyway that's kind of why I know a little bit about it at least um, but the great thing about this um, and the fact that I've used it previously in a sort of a, a semi-professional way is um, they also have this additional thing where you enter your age and um, your your sex and so on and because our, our, our hearing deteriorates as we get older we tend to lose sort of a muddy mix towards the top end of the treble um, we tend to lose that so you you enter your age and your sex and everything and it adjusts it based on known profiles of our hearing as it deteriorates as we get older and it kind of boosts certain areas to allow our age not to be a limiting factor into what we're going to hear 
and I think that's such a really cool thing. So I've I've tried it. I've got you know a pretty decent pair of um, focal Alia headphones here. They're attached to a, 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 um, a DAC, um, the Mojo uh, called Mojo. You know, pretty decent stuff. And previously, I was really happy with how these sounded, but when I was putting them through the uh, Sonarworks TrueFi, I really noticed a real difference, and I didn't think it would be that profound. I didn't think it would be as obvious to me, given that these are pretty exceptional exceptional headphones as it is. So, um, having tried it and having listened to a lot of music, sort of from some my from the 70s when I sort of grew up sort of was listening to the Commodores because I've not heard it for so long um, we and, and also modern music and so just any sort of any music it just works really really well and um, it, it's it's not and it's using they're saying it's using their sort of proprietary uh, techniques and methods and what have you I, I, it's obvious that they're EQing it um, it's I have a feeling there's some degree of compression involved in there. It tends to be a bit more punchier. Um, but overall, it's not something that's just a matter of putting up some frequencies and put, adding a peppering of compression on it. It's a little bit more subtle than that and well implemented. And well implemented. Plus the very fact that they have a, a good range of... Um, headphones that they support if you go to the website you can download a free trial which I think lasts for 10 days there we go 10 days um, you can try it out for yourself um, I would I would really recommend it they've got a great list of headphones that they support even just the very basic sort of really crappy ear pods that Apple give away all the way up to some you know really pretty decent headphones um, really can't recommend it enough uh, if you enjoy music I listen to uh, Tidal a lot um, their, their uh, premium one where you can listen to um, uh, Flack uh, uncompressed and it's uh, sort of what they call their masters um, series of albums and tracks that they have and they're really good quality and it really really uh, does make a real difference it's much better than Spotify but that's something that's a different review I guess but yeah using it on Tidal on a decent high-res um, uh, stream or download um, it's been really good and you know obviously I'm, I'm using it on pretty decent stuff but I would imagine if it can sound make these sound really good and they sounded great before I can only imagine what it would do to uh, you know sort of more sort of bog standard headphones so check it out it's a free trial at sonarworks.com I'll put the link in the thing I'm not getting paid to say this there's no commission or, or anything it's just something that I use I've been aware of sonarworks for many years and I truly believe that it's something that if you enjoy music if you enjoy you know listening to, through headphones and something or anything like that regardless of what they are then it's something I would truly recommend so go check it out and I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna oh yeah yo Ooh, that's why I'm easy yeah I'm easy like Sunday morning yeah that's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Slapping the beast. <laughs>